I don't know about you, but I just can't pass up a basket from the thrift store. Now these aren't all my baskets, but I do have quite a few. And in today's video, we're going to DIY some of those baskets. And let's get right into it with DIY number one. This first basket was in perfect condition. I loved the shape, but I hated the color. So I decided to paint it in Fusion Mineral Paint Blue Pine. I love this color. I wasn't worried about completely covering the basket. I was okay with a little bit of the original basket showing because I was going to cover it in white wax. I know this looks like a lot of wax, but I wanted to get it in all those nicks and crannies and then I'm going to wipe it back. So all that pretty blue pine will show again. this is DIY number one and number two because on this basket it's the same color blue pine but this time I'm going to use dark wax. I just want to show you the difference when you apply different waxes. I got the dark wax too dark right here on this basket, so don't forget that you can always use clear wax to, as like an eraser to lighten up that dark wax. Much better. And here's how they turned out. Such a simple DIY, but what a transformation. What do you think? And on to DIY number two. Okay, for this basket, I really loved the basket. I thought it was pretty, I love the color, but you couldn't use it as a tray. Well, you could, but if you, it, things didn't stand up in it right, it would, the, those things, they were just so thick that nothing stood up correctly. So this is what I decided to do with this basket. I took some drop cloth that I had washed and, I, and bleached. So I used bleach washcloth. There's always an easier way to say it that I never do. But I took the drop cloth and I tried to fit it to the size of this basket because I want to glue it across the top of the basket to make a pocket. I used those little clips are you use them in sewing instead of pins. So they're, they're really nice to have. I got them from Amazon. And I think it's easier just to tear drop cloth as opposed to using scissors. It always tears nice and straight. You get a little glimpse there of my goof up on the other side, but drop cloth is thick enough that I could just do the other side. So right here, I'm conditioning the stamp. I'm gonna stamp onto the drop cloth. And the first time you use a stamp, you wanna take a um, sandpaper and just rough it up a little bit before you use it the first time. I took the fold out of the drop cloth so that when I do put the stamp on, it won't leave a bump because of the fabric underneath. It would have been nice to have a brayer to roll over the stamp to make sure I got everything down, but I just cleaned my craft room, so you know what that means. I have no idea where my brayer is. So I just tried to rub over all of the stamp to make sure it was all on the drop cloth and it looked pretty good. So I kept on going. And I just cleaned my stamps with a baby wipe. I get it all clipped back up and it's ready to glue onto the basket. And it was way easier than I thought it would be 
and I forgot to turn on the camera. So at least you get to see the last part. And really, this is all I did. I just put that hot glue down, held it till it was dry, and this project was done. And here's how it turned out. I moved into my house in 1993. So you know what that means? I have pottery shelves, lots of pottery shelves. So this is gonna go on one of my pottery shelves. I think it's gonna look great. And moving right along to DIY number three. This might be my favorite basket. For this basket, I used Wise Al paint in Antique Villa, but I added a little bit of gray to give it a little bit of a deeper color. This is one of those baskets that I think just a little bit of DIY in can make it have a whole new look. I painted the basket so it kind of had a whitewashed look and then I'm going to decoupage some drop cloth. I took one of the new JRV or Jamie Ray Vintage decoupage paper and I used this ruler that gives it a nice straight but torn edge. This is a great ruler. This might be one of my new favorite things. You just place it down and then you just pull it up and it gives it like this nice feathery torn edge, but it's straight. I used a piece of cling wrap or saran wrap and I put, I flipped over the decoupage paper and I used fabric Mod Podge, which is super, well, I don't know, mine's kind of old, but it had never been opened, but it is super thick. I just got the whole thing covered. Now there was one spot here where that moved and it kind of tore the decoupage paper. I didn't know that until I turn it over so anyway, I'll show you how I fix that in a minute. The world had more of your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness... I had to lift it back up to get it straight. And then you can see down there at the bottom, it lifted up the paper when I had done that little goof when I was applying the um, Mod Podge. So what I did is I took some of uh, one of those distress stamps and I just kind of filled in that spot where it was white here I'm just going around because the where you tear the paper it is it does leave like a white edge so I just did this little stamp to cover in to cover up all the white edges then I took an IOD one of those stamps that does the texture and I just kind of I did it over the little goof up and then I kind of did it around just to make it look like it you know, like it belonged. And what was surprising about decoupaging onto fabric, it is not stiff at all when it dries. I was really surprised. It's kind of cool the way it turns out. I just glued, hot glued the drop cloth to the basket. Made sure I had it on there straight before I glued the other side down. You feel and DIY number three was done. And this is how it turned out. And if you're new to my channel, you might not know that I love rolling pins. And there definitely will be rolling pins in this basket when I put it in my kitchen. And on to DIY number four, which isn't even a basket, but it is rattan and it's a tiered tray. So I had to do it. 
Okay, I know I said I cleaned my craft room, but I didn't clean this table, so that's why it's so messy. It'll get cleaned after this project. Not this project, after this video. And this is kind of a boring DIY. All I did was paint the rattan. I painted it in the eucalyptus, but I wasn't sure about it, so you won't see the reveal on this until after the next basket DIY, so let me know if you see notice the difference. And on to DIY number five. And this, this is another one of my favorites. I love the way this turned out. And it was so simple. So I took the antique wax, the Waverly antique wax, and I mixed it with just regular wax because I didn't want it as dark. And I just went over the basket. But I had pretty good coverage. I covered it pretty good. I like it. I did it kind of like paint. Standing on a field with you and flowers. So I got the whole thing covered in the wax and then I just wiped it back. And I love the color that it turned out. I thought this basket needed a little upgrade, so I had these feet that I, well, these, well, I think they were feet because they were flat on one side. And I got those from Joann's. And I just did the same thing, wax those. This was the perfect basket to put feet on. I don't know if you can see right there, but there was like a little wood slat that ran on each side of the basket on the inside and out. So it was perfect for screwing on feet, but I didn't have the right size screws. So for now, they're just glued on. I'm gonna use drop cloth again, but this time I'm gonna put on a transfer. This is a redesign by Prima Transfer, and I'll put a link to the transfer in the description below and for the stamp that I used in a previous um, DIY. I'll put that in the link below too. And if you've never used a transfer before, it comes with that tool that I'm using, and you just rub it on, and then you just slowly lift up that carrier paper to make sure that it's adhered to whatever you're putting the transfer on. One thing I forgot to do is when you take off that carrier sheet, you usually take it and rub it over the transfer to make sure that it's here, adhered really well. I did forget to do that, but this is fabric, so I think I'll be okay. This time I used fabric tack glue. Sometimes when you use hot glue, it can like leave a bump. So I used this glue because I, I wanted it to have a nice flat look. I didn't want to see, I didn't want you to be able to see where it was glued. And for this basket, I am going to add a messy bow. And I think this is the perfect basket for a messy bow. It's a little shabby chic, maybe not shabby chic colors, but it's got that feel. And you know, you can't mess up a messy bow. You just cut a bunch of different ribbons and whatever, you can use string, whatever kind of ribbon you want. You just, I just cinch mine together with a zip tie and pretty much you're done. I trimmed it, it was a little big for this basket and really that's it. And here's how it turned out. I don't know, this, I like this one too. I think it's really cute. Do you have a favorite yet? I would love to know, but I do have one more coming up and it turned out pretty good. Okay, I took these three baskets, they're all a little different and I took this also new Jamie Ray Vintage decoupage paper. I know there's four there, but I couldn't decide. I painted all the baskets white 
I, I did two coats, but I know you're sick of looking at me paint baskets. And then I took this decoupage paper and that is a watercolor pen and it has water in it. And then I just went around the edges of the, um, what I wanted and I just tore it out. I couldn't use my ruler for this one. It's a little more free form. Again, I used the cling wrap and I spread it all out. I, then I put the decoupage, decoupage paper in there. And then I'm not sure which decoupage medium I was using because I had something in a little plastic container. And I'm not sure what it, I'm not sure what it was. But it was so nice doing it on the cling wrap cling wrap because you could just pick it up and then kind of put it where you wanted it. I, I think it made it easier. Could spread your love. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. And then I just balled up that cling wrap and went over to make sure everything was nice and smooth. And I did that for each of the other baskets. If you have a question, if there's something I've left out or something you need to know, don't hesitate to leave a comment below and ask because I try to get back to every question. Then I applied a little dark wax to each of the baskets. And here's how they turned out. I know I keep saying this, but I think they turned out really cute. So let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite in all these baskets today? Do you like to do, are you a basket collector like me? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, and do you see my tiered tray? Yeah, it's white now. And here's a little recap of all the projects today. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I know it was a long video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave me a comment and share it with a friend if you know they, a friend that likes this kind of content. And we'll see you next time.